Praise the Lord. Today we are going to see what does the sandals represent. Because more, every people in this world go out with, with they never go out without sandals or shoe. So what does that sandals or shoe represent in the Bible? So from that we are going to know how God gives protection and provision for us, and in our responsibilities, how God is with us to fulfill that. All these things we are going to see when when we when we are going to know what does the sandals symbolize. For that we are going to take Deuteronomy twenty nine uh, verse five. So let us see that Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy twenty nine five. During the forty year uh, forty year journey that I led you through the wilderness, your clothes did not worn out, nor did the sandals of your feet. That's what Deuteronomy twenty nine five says. The Lord said to the people of Israel when they uh, went through the land of uh, when 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 they are going to um, capture the land of Canaan. Before that, Moses gave this information to them. So what does it mean? It, it means that um, in, even in their wilderness, um, they were given the protection and provision. So we as the people are going through the, the same wilderness journey, but God is with us. Um, he gave us same protection and provision as He gave the people of Israel. What does the shoe represent in those days? Uh, nowadays, the different types of shoes and sandals are there. All people are wearing it and what what happened what does it indicate in those days where jesus lived in those days where the people of israel lived and there in ancient times footwear generally was sandals a flat sole constructed of leather wood or matted grass secured to the foot with the leather straps and soldiers and dignitaries have had more substantial foot covering than common people had that's what Ephesians 6 15 says sandals are common and cheap their qualities and presence or absence were indicator of social status if you put the sandals that they that gives some social status. Um, that's what Luke 15 and Ezekiel 16 says. Um, prisoners are not allowed to put the sandal uh, footpads um, and those in the morning also went barefoot. That's what happened to him. Uh, uh, Daniel, when he went out of Jerusalem, he went morning and crying without a not bare, without a barefoot, with a barefoot. Um, one put a sandal in preparation for a journey also. Um, that's what in Exodus 12 and Mark 6 and 12, uh, Acts 12 says, Moses and Joshua were instructed to take off the sandal when they stu stood at the holy ground. Them. The transfer of a sandal from one party to another sealed a property transaction. That's what happened. The Ruth, uh, that's given in uh, Psalm 68 also. Well, the removal of sandal of a man who refused to marry his brother's widow was a ceremony of disgrace. Um, that's what happened in the case of Ruth when Ruth uh, was married by Boaz and was denied by another redeemed um, uh, kinsman. The lowest servant in the household removes the dust sandal and wash their feet as uh, Jesus demonstrated for his disciples. So Jesus told, follow this. Uh, as what I did, and you have come not to get the service, but to serve others. Um, John the Baptist does not consider himself worthy of the humble uh, task of um, uh, removing the Jesus sandal because only the, the slaves are uh, um, allowed to do that. Even John the Baptist telling, I'm not even slave to do that also because Jesus is the Messiah. So that so much a thing, the sandals are uh, uh, symbolized and um, uh, figuratively represented in the Bible. So let us see the, the five different symbolism of sandals. Um, first is taking on uh, the sandals represent readiness of a journey and putting off the sandal symbolizes reverence before God. Um, the want of uh, uh, sandals represents the mourning. Giving to another the sandals uh, as a manner of attestation in the Israel uh, symbolizes the manner of attestation. And then to unloose this uh, another sandal is an act of homage, um, the symbolization of act of homage. That's first of all taking on or the, or the uh, taking on the sandals, which is readiness for the journey. That's what written in Exodus chapter 12, 11, when the people are going to come out of the land of Egypt, God asked to celebrate the Passover feast. Uh, how to celebrate it? This is how you should be dressed uh, when you eat it, with your belt on your sandals on your feet and your shepherd's staff in your hand. You must eat it in a hurry. It is a Lord's Passover over because you should be ready to go to for take a journey. In that way, you have to you, you put your sandals on your feet. In our life also, the Baska lamp, Jesus Christ um, died on us for, for our uh, sin and we should be ready to do any journey for Christ. We should not give uh, put out our responsibility. Instead of that, we should be ready to do the responsibilities because Jesus Christ, the Passover lamp, has um, um, died for our sin. Next is um, putting on the sandal represents the remembrance before God. That's what happened to Joshua, when he, he, he crossed the Jordan River, he has to, he saw a great um, um, city called Jericho, uh, surrounded by a great wall. He don't know how to cross the wall, and he don't know how to break the wall, and he, he don't, he cannot go back, because uh, backside it is the Jordan River, and he cannot go front, there is a great wall. And he, and he saw, his, uh, uh, his Israel people don't have a great weapons to do the battle. They were arrow, bow, and sparrows, that's, uh, that's all, and sling, not more than many high weapons. So he has no idea what to do. He was so worried and how was he going to 
need at that time god uh, came to him in the form of uh, uh, the, the commander of the uh, lord's army he actually this is represents the angel of the lord which is nothing but jesus christ in old testament times um, at that time um, 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 Joshua went and asked him. Um, um, went and asked, "What I have to do? You are the Lord's commander. You are the commander of the Lord's army. Can know that? Um, what can I do? Please tell me uh, why you have come here. What? Give me the information." At that time, the commander of the army replied, "Take off your sandal for the place uh, where you are standing is holy." And Joshua did do. So he got the got the information from the um, commander what to do, how to wage the battle. But what the commander is telling, "Take off your sandal." What does it represent? Take. of the sandal but so far joshua was thinking that he is only going to wage the war and, and he is all alone and he is going to be leader but he did not need to bear the heavy burden now and responsibility of leadership alone by removing his sandal he gladly acknowledged that this battle and the entire conquest of canaan was god's conflict and that he was merely god's servant in our life also god give the great responsibility don't think that you are going to lead and everything you are going to do the the thing what you are going to do is you are only just a servant the commander is going to come in front of you the battle is god god is going to wage the battle for you and with you that is what is represent so whenever you got the god the great responsibility like most joshua don't afraid because leader is there the commander of the lord's army you are just a servant next what is the sandal symbolize when want of of a sandal represents the morning that's what the uh, happened to david but david continued up the mount of olive weeping as he went his way his head was covered and he was barefoot all the people with him covered their head too and were weeping as they went up so maybe you are maybe you are following the path of david he lost everything he was chased by his own son he was going out of jerusalem at that time he was weeping we were going out without a bag with a barefoot maybe that journey you are thinking of maybe very a crying journey a agonizing journey but don't think that you are in a barefoot god is with you god is leading you because god's word is a light of your foot light of your path so don't cry onto the path because god is with you that's also sample symbolism next to thing the sample giving to another and our giving our sandals to another symbolize the manner of attestation is in israel that's what happened in the case of ruth ruth was was uh, was must be married by a nearby kinsman that man was not ready to marry ruth at that time the boy was ready to marry and to to fulfill that the transaction to do the to make the transaction complete um, what happened is this is the way it was used to be in israel concerning buying back property and exchange goods um, in order to make every matter legal a man would have to take off his sandal and give it to the other man this was the way the contract was uh, uh, publicly approved in israel so when the man said to boaz buy it by yourself he took off his sandals this is a great this is a matter of great disgrace um, because he is not ready to fulfill the responsibility and giving the responsibility to another king's man so this was happen maybe you are in this condition like ruth maybe you are this you are you are thrown out by your relatives you are disgraced by other people nobody want to take you the for your condition but boaz our jesus christ is ready to accept you so that also the the, the, the sandals represent to unloose the, the another another person sandal represents the act of homage that's what john the baptist was telling john said to them i baptize you with water but one who is more powerful than i come the straps of whose sandal i am not worthy to untie he will baptize you with the holy spirit and fire so even we are, we are also once like um, um, john the baptist also um, not only like john the baptist we are like a slave um, but jesus christ rescued us um, we should always have this in mind and never be prideful about god because we are not even worthy to go near the god's presence but god died for our sin and make our uh, make make us as god's children so uh, what is also the figurative of sandals nothing but the protection and provision that's what deuteronomy 33 25 says uh, to the asher um tribe um, uh, moses is um, giving the blessing like this most blessed of son is asher let him be favored by his brother and let his ba- and let his bath in his feet with oil and his uh, under his feet there were um, iron and um, bronze um, so this represent the protection and provision so we also like the god's people and god's give us all protection and provision and also fulfill all our desire and our and make our feet to bathe in the oil next is represent the preparation for service um, ephesians chapter 6 15 says put on your sandals so that you are ready to spread the good news that gives peace and the god who give the protection and provision and who and as a god who died for your sin and for that god what we have to do we should always put on our shoes so that we will be ready to spread the good news that gives peace and we should not uh, put up this responsibility
responsibility that is given to us um, for that we should be always alert in our activities uh, that's what i say 55 27 says none of them grow tired or stumble none of them slumber or sleep um, the belt on their waist are not loose uh, are the sandal straps broken like this we should be always um, ready to do the god service um, we should not be sleepy or um, or a slumber, we should not tire or stumble, nothing but that. We should be always ready with the belt on our waist and the sandal stripes not broken. So that way God gives the protection and provision and should be prepared for the service and alert. And moreover, and even though you are maybe in the condition of taking a great journey, or take, or take it with a great seriousness, maybe your condition of um, responsibilities may be more, don't think that you are going alone. The God of uh, the, uh, the commander of the God's army is with, with you and and he has given the responsibility with you. Maybe you are like David, moaning and um, uh, crying unto the path. Don't believe that you are moaning and crying with the barefoot. Uh, the God's word is light of the path and leading you. And maybe you are like him, um, like Ruth, uh, who is disgraced and uh, um, thrown out from a family. But Boaz is the one who is ready, is to, is ready to take uh, take care of you and take you as a child. Uh, and moreover, maybe always to keep it in the mind. Don't be prideful that you are once a slave, not even go in the presence of God, but God died for your sin and make you as a God's children. So keep it in mind whenever you see the sandal, I pray for you. Thanks, Lord. Thank you for revealing such a great uh, revelation to us about the sandal, my Lord. Let us always do your duty and in our journey you are with us. In the name of Jesus, Amen. God bless you.